Hi, my name's Ruth and I'm Landscape Conservation Area Officer for the Northwest Area of Essex for Essex Wildlife Trust. And tonight I'm at Iron Latch Nature Reserve looking for a very special and very elusive insect. Iron Latch is a four hectare site just outside Colchester, but it might only be small, but it packs a lot in. In spring, nightingales can be heard singing from the coppice woodland and greenwind orchids and common spotted orchids are found in the grassland. And in the summer, you can spot common blue butterflies feeding on the flowers and purple hair streak butterflies flitting along the hedgerows. The site has undergone a lot of change since grazing stopped in the 1950s. Uh, the air, grassland area reverted to secondary woodland which the Trust cleared in the 1980s and if we left it the wood would come back but every year we graze the site and cut it to control the bramble. The reason we have to cut and graze annually is to make sure that the woodland doesn't come back because we need to make sure that the flowers stay. We have birds with trefoil, willow herb, barren strawberry but we also have some very special invertebrates. We have grasshoppers, we have butterflies and we have glowworms. Now the glowworm is not actually a worm but a beetle and they have fascinating lives. They spend most of their time as larvae feeding on small snails which like damp conditions before they turn into the adult form. The female is flightless and can be differentiated from the larva as they are black with a thin pale line down the middle and no pale spots on the ends of the segments. The male is more beetle-like with black wing cases. The adult form cannot eat so they only survive for two to three weeks before mating and dying. The habitat at Iron Latch is perfect for glowworms. It's slightly damp so their food is here and the grass is short at certain times so they can display and longer so that they can go and hide from predators during the day. But the best type way to find them at night is to turn the torch off. And here we have our first female glowworm shining brightly in the grass at the foot of the path. Keep your eyes open, keep your eyes to the ground, but it must be dark, no ambient light at all. So here we have a female glowworm sitting at the end of a piece of grass. She's glowing very brightly, trying to attack, attract the duller male. Um, she's growing, glowing like a little LED light. They are very distinctive. The last two segments of her body are glowing brightly due to a process called bioluminescence. This is a process of a chemical reaction that's taking place that's causing the light to emit straight from her body. It's a cold light, so not hurting her at all. Go for a nighttime walk in June and July and it's possible that you will see glowworms. They're under-recorded because of the lights around us, headlights, lights on housing estates, but go to anywhere where their grass can be found you may be lucky and see a glowworm. So glowworms can be found in other places and not just on nature reserves. I'm currently stood just outside Audley End House on a road where I first saw my first glowworm on the verge of the road just here. So next time you go for a walk and maybe for one of your 30 days wild activities you can go for a walk at night and turn your torch off. <laughs>